Hi, so here we have one solid example based on permutations where we have four different books on mathematics, five different books on computers and we have two different books on science and these books are supposed to be arranged in a shelf. Then how many different arrangements are possible if the book in each particular subject must be all together, B, only the mathematics books must be together. So this question also has two parts and in this question we have four different mathematics books and then we have five different computer books. So suppose these are the five computer books and after that we have total two different science books, right? And then what we have to find? We have to find the number of ways in which these books can be arranged in a shelf First, we have to find the books in each particular subject must be all together. If the books in each particular subject must be all together, then we will consider these four books as one book and these five books of computer as one single book and these two books in science as one single book in science. Then how many possible ways these three items can be arranged? These three items can be arranged in three factorial ways, right? But we know that these books in mathematics and these books in computer and these two books in science are actually different books, right? Then these four books in mathematics can be arranged in four factorial ways and these five books in computer can be arranged in five factorial ways and these two books in science can be arranged in two factorial ways. Right? And all these books are supposed to be arranged. So the product of all these possibilities will actually be the number of ways in which we can arrange these books where all the four mathematics books are together and five computer books are together and two science books are together. So if we multiply all this, we will get 3 factorial is 6, 4 factorial is 24, 5 factorial is 120 and 2 factorial is 2. And if we multiply all of them, we will get 34,560. So these are the number of ways in which the books can be arranged where the books of each particular subject are kept together. And now we have to solve the part B. Part B says only the mathematics books must be together. If we keep only the mathematics books together, that means all these books which are either of computer or science can be treated as individual books, right? And these books which belong to mathematics, these four books have to be treated as one single book and then we will find out the permutations of these four books keeping together, right? So let me erase all this. So these are total seven books which are supposed to be treated individually and these four books of mathematics are supposed to be treated as one book because these four books are supposed to be kept together, right? So practically now we have eight number of books and they can be arranged in eight factorial ways and these four books of mathematics can be arranged in four factorial ways by keeping them together. So the total number of ways in which these books can be arranged will be the product of eight factorial and four factorial and this will be equal to eight factorial is 40,320 and 4 factorial is 24, right? And product of these two numbers is 967,680. So these are the total different ways in which these books can be arranged where the books of computer and science are treated as individual books and the four books of mathematics are supposed to be kept together. So we will treat them as single book and then the total number of ways of arranging these books will be 8 factorial but these four books of mathematics can be arranged in any order within that specified area. So there will be total four factorial ways in which these four books of mathematics can be arranged and since all these books are supposed to be arranged we have to multiply these two possibilities and then we will get 967,680 possible ways in which these books can be arranged, right? So this was one more example and after this we are going to take few more examples. So keep watching Math Smart and bye bye till then.